So the bottom line is we know these thieves are out there. We know that. We've come across them. We know they are getting very, very sophisticated. There's virtually no one out there stopping them. If you're a victim of identity theft, one of the first things you have to do is get a police report. That is enormously important because it triggers certain rights and protections that the consumer has when they're submitting their disputes to the credit reporting agencies. The second most important thing a consumer or a victim of identity theft should do is getting their three credit reports from TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. And they're all free uh, if you're a victim of identity theft. The third most important thing to do is to get a fraud alert on your credit reports. Credit reporting agencies are required to indicate on your credit report that you are a victim of identity theft so that if the imposter is still trying to use your credit, they won't be able to. It will reduce those chances. You know, identity theft prosecutions uh, generally have 20 to up to 100 to even 1,000 victims. Each one of those victims then are going to have multiple accounts that are fraudulently opened or uh, compromised. The DA's office has to uh, find information on every one of those accounts and literally every one of those accounts is a mini crime. You really have to look about protecting yourself. Um, no one's going to do it for you. There are some things out there that you can do. Monitoring your credit reports can certainly help, being more careful with your passwords. Minding your own mail, making sure that doesn't make it into the hands of thieves. I like to think of this as a, a 3D uh, defense. You have to deter, you have to detect, and then you have to defend against your own identity. And if it has been stolen, you are the most important investigator in this case. You need to be vigilant about making sure that all of the evidence that's available out there is collected and presented to the police so we can successfully investigate these cases and prosecute them. You have to develop a certain sense of paranoia about this because if it's such a lucrative crime spree and the risk is so low it's almost negligible, that's going to attract more thieves. When someone is victimized, the biggest problem that they face is their own apathy. They believe that uh, because credit card charges have been reversed, they believe that because uh, someone opened up an account and it was shut down immediately, that the case is over and their identity is now safe. That's not true. Their information is going to be likely shared in an underworld that they don't understand. That identity breach could cause them problems 5, 10, 15 years down the road. At some point, most of us are going to fall victim to identity theft. It's going to be a very long fight. We'd better be ready for it.